go over a few things with you that I have a lot of clients come to me with concerns. So I'm figuring if they have concerns, you may have the same concerns too. So I wanted to go over dry scalp versus dandruff. Um, I have a lot of women that sit in my chair and they're like, oh my gosh, I have white flakes, I have dandruff. And it's not necessarily true. There's dry scalp, and dry scalp is usually caused from lack of moisture. And then there's dandruff. And dandruff is usually caused from like an oily buildup and the skin cells shedding from the scalp. So the dandruff and dry scalp present itself in the same way. You have itchy scalp and you have the white flakes that come off. So the way you can tell is by looking at the scalp. If it's white and just flaky and it's itchy and it comes off, that's usually just a dry scalp. If it looks waxy and kind of yellowish and oily, that's actually dandruff. So what causes dry scalp? Factors like this. You could have cold air, so you can live in a colder climate. And when the climate changes, I've noticed between seasons, sometimes I get a dry scalp when the seasons and the weather changes. You can also get contact dermatitis, which actually is applying hairsprays, gels, and hair products to the scalp, and then it can actually irritate and dry out the scalp. And get this, bonus points, old age. Old age, you can actually get dry scalp. As you know, as you age, your skin just doesn't replenish the moisture that it used to when you were younger. Same thing with your scalp. So. Unfortunately, old age also causes dry scalp. So dandruff is usually caused by age, hormones, or stress. Dirty hair does not cause dandruff, but if you don't wash your hair often enough, the product buildup and the dry skin is what tends to flake off over time. So to treat dry scalp, it's usually just a lack of moisture. So if you hydrate yourself, um, use uh, shampoos and conditioners that are moisture rich, sometimes I recommend my clients put something like a Moroccan oil or some type of you know conditioning um, moisturizer on their scalp at night and go to sleep with it. And in the morning, it actually should look better. Wash not more often, but just don't go a week at a time, you know, or five days at a time. You might wanna cut back to like every three days to wash your hair. And sometimes dry shampoo can actually dry out your scalp and cause it itch to make it itchy and flaky as well. So try putting something, like I said, the Moroccan oil. Moroccan oil also makes a dry scalp treatment um, and they make an oil no more treatment. And those are also great to put on. Um, before you're gonna wash, you would do this treatment and rub it into the scalp, massage it, let it sit, and then you would wash your hair and that's gonna help with um, oily scalp and that's also gonna help with dry scalp. For dandruff, uh, we have some products that will help dandruff. Kuhn makes a dandruff shampoo and it's really good and it's an exfoliating kind of shampoo. But if you're, if you're like a mild case of dandruff, you know, then I would recommend maybe just a gentle shampoo and shampoo every day. If your dandruff is a little more persistent, then you could try something like the Kuhn. Um, and if it's still persistent, then I would recommend seeing a dermatologist and have them prescribe something stronger. Any shampoo with the tea tree oil in it is also really good for dandruff. So most dandruff shampoos are going to help treat dandruff. But if you use it for over a month and it still hasn't changed your dandruff, then you need to go see a doctor. That way a doctor can actually look at your skin and see if there's something more there than dandruff. You might have eczema or psoriasis. And so they can help better treat you. Um, so we definitely recommend that you go see a dermatologist. And to avoid dry scalp, um, I suggest that you look for products that are alcohol free. I suggest finding a moisture rich shampoo and conditioner and the biggest, biggest thing for a dry scalp is that you need to hydrate. Drink lots of water. Your eight glasses of water every single day. Um, this will help your skin all over, especially as we age, we need this hydration. Your skin needs it. So if you have dry scalp, your rest of your body is probably dry too and your face and you're going to see a huge difference if you make sure you're hydrated. 
So I hope that helped you guys understand the difference between dry scalp and dandruff. I know that they are very similar with the white flakes and the itchiness, but they are two very different things and they need to be treated differently. Um, and if you guys have any questions, I'm here to help. Please don't hesitate to ask. And again, thank you guys for watching and sticking around and I have more tutorials coming soon. Thanks, bye.